Hello, there's another video from School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be looking at Scratch and how to look at the basics of just changing the sprite. And the sprite is this character here. And also changing the stage, which is this background here. So to change the sprite, all we have to do is if we go down, we can see we've got this section here in the bottom right. And this is where all of our sprites will appear. So I've had multiple sprites that all appear in this section. You can see I've got this one highlighted right now, sprite one. So what we need to do is we can click on this cat face with a plus and you've got a few options. We've got choose a sprite, paint, surprise, or upload a sprite. So if we look at choose a sprite, Scratch has got lots of pre-saved images that you can use for your sprites. Some of them are people, some of them are, for instance, like a balloon and a ball. So if I click that, I then have a new sprite. So now I've got a cat and a balloon. If I want to, I can get rid of a sprite just by selecting it. This is also important when you come to code your sprites. If you want them to code the cat, make sure that your cat is selected. If you want them to code the balloon, make sure your balloon is selected. Or else you end up with your code for the balloon on the cat one, and the code for the cat, the balloon one. So if you want to delete it, you can see there's got a big bin icon here. We just click on that, and I'll get rid of it. We can't get rid of all of them, so we have no sprites left. And you notice that our options change here. So we can also paint, we can create a sprite, and we can create some shapes. This is a very great person here. So there we go, we've got some shapes. Um, and we can change the color of them and do all sorts of things. But you can play around with that in your own time. But then we go back to the code and there you go, we've got our sprites here. So at the moment, I'm just gonna select uh, an apple. We'll get rid of this one. So again, clicking the bin, and there we go. You can also surprise, so we'll get a random one. we we'll press surprise again, different one each time. Last thing we can do is you can upload an image. If I have an image saved, I can then upload from my download folder or whatever, an image that I have created or got from the internet and upload that instead. So that's how we change the sprite. We can also change the sprite's costume. Here we can have multiple copies, so some people. For example, if I go for Abby, I go to costumes, we can see that Abby has got different poses here. But yeah, which you can choose and change. To change the stage though, we click on stage now. Click on the sprite if you want to change the sprite. To click the stage, we have to click on the very right where it says stage. You can see right now it's blank. Now again, we have the same options with the picture icon with the plus, we have got choose a backdrop. You can see there's lots of pre-saved backdrops. Bedroom for Abbey, she might be saying to go visit castle. But we can also paint, we can create our own backdrop. And you can see the ones that we selected before are here to change through with our code if we want. And we've also got surprise again. If I click surprise a few times, Changing the negotiation in the castle. And Firelight, we can upload. So if I've got an image, same as a sprite, I can then add that image to my scratch stage. And there you have it. There's the basics of how to change a sprite or backdrop for your animation that you're going to make your code. And once you're happy with it, get the code working, and you can create some amazing things.